Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's really cheap Friday. The sun was shining, but um, I think it's going behind the clouds now, but it's still a beautiful summer day. Um, what, middle of July? Oh, and actually Cade, my son Cade, he turned 20 years old yesterday. So July 14th is his birthday. He was a huge surprise to us. He was supposed to be born in October. Uh, middle of October, so he came super duper early. Hello, Miss Jamie. Um, so yeah, that was a huge surprise 20 years ago yesterday, Cade. Like, he just couldn't wait to meet his mom and dad, I guess. So little teeny tiny guy, he was born two pounds, six ounces, and now he's like, I don't know, I don't know how much he weighs actually, but he's a big healthy kid. Um, so I was just saying that yesterday that like, yeah, you know, you do you do a lot of praying um, when something like that happens because he was born uh, so early. Um, but I told him all my prayers were answered for him because he is just a super um, great healthy kid. Um, and well, kid, not anymore. He's 20 years old now. Hello, Miss Susie. So thanks for joining me. But yeah, we he yesterday actually he wanted to go to like Michigan's Adventure so like a fun park and he kind of wanted to do it with just friends so that was like the first time that um, I didn't get to spend his birthday with him so that was kind of weird we did like birthday stuff in the morning and then he came back um, last evening and so we got to celebrate some more but it was it was kind of weird like okay he's definitely growing up so which is good which is fine he's an independent young man so hello Philomena welcome so yeah we're kind of like coming off the birthday high although we have another like family party cookout today because my niece uh, Bryn and actually um, also it's her birthday on July 14th so they two cousins share a birthday so that's kind of fun too so she went uh, to the fun park as well so yeah but okay so enough about all that I'm sorry I got like way off on a tangent already so I guess I'm just like excited about that so today I'm excited about this as well I have been wanting to play with this stamp set and dies and designer series paper for forever on Facebook Live. So finally, we are going to play today with the best butterfly stamp set. Such a cute, fun kind of builder stamp set to create lots of different butterfly images. And then, and I guess I've pulled a few apart. Hello, Miss Beth. You found us. Awesome. And then the um, these are the butterfly, build a butterfly dies. So I've got a bunch of them kind of back there that we're going to use today. And then these are um, other ones that we're actually not even using on our cards. So we've got lots of, lots of dies and lots of stamps and some kind of quirky sentiments in this stamp set, like so glad you exist, right? Okay. Uh, sending good vibes, all the love and you're my bestie. So those are the um, sentiments in there, which like I said, they're a little quirky. Um, so if those don't float your boat, I wouldn't even worry about it. You've probably got lots of other stamp sets with fun sentiments, but you really like you're going to love. I'll show you the imagery that you can use to create the um, butterflies. And then obviously if you want to die cut them, oops, you can do that too with the build a butterfly dies. So I'm going to have lots and lots of fun playing with that. And then the designer series paper is one of my absolute favorites. The um, <clears throat> butterfly kisses designer series paper it is. So that's what we're going to play with today on Facebook Live. In the meantime, I'm just going to do a little teaser because I have my first designer series paper share came in. Look at that. Look at, look at all this paper. I keep, um, I'm going to show you guys in more detail, but look at all of this awesome paper. Some, uh, most of it is six by 12. Some of it is six by six. And I kept thinking like when I did this, like cut this all and I'm like, I'm only charging 50, yeah, $52 for all of this paper. So you basically get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the holiday catalog, all of the designer series paper, the specialty paper. Um, you get the host designer series paper and a couple of celebration papers. I'm gonna flip the camera down and I'll, I'm gonna show you because I guys want, I want you guys to see how beautiful all this paper is. Um, but yeah, $52 for all of this paper. I keep thinking like maybe I calculated wrong, but whatever, it is what it is now. So hopefully I'm not losing too much money on this, but you're gonna want one of those paper shares after I show you all the beautiful paper. Cause it's it's always so fun for me to get that paper and cut it all up and divide it out. And like, I get to see it all cause I haven't even like seen um, some of it too. So you're gonna love that. Um, what else, what else? I'm like bouncing off the walls today. Oh, sun's peeking out again too, which is awesome. Okay. Um, and and then don't forget celebration is going on still right now ongoing right um if you don't have a little celebration brochure let me know i'd be happy to get one sent out to you or put out on the porch but basically 
Now is the time. Stock up on your basics, on your card stock, on your adhesive, on your envelopes, whatever you need to maybe create holiday projects. Order it now in July and August, and then you can get free stuff with every $50 increment of an order. So if you spend $50, you pick one item. If you spend $100, you pick two items, or some of these are $100 celebration items, so you could pick one of those. Um, yeah, there's also the awesome starter kit deal I showed you guys last week. I was telling Lily, I'm like geeking out on like how awesome this planner is. And I actually, it's funny, so her, um, go, she's going off to college in the fall. And I kind of worry about the kids and like they're, you know, being organized. I mean, they do a really good job. Well, probably Lily more than Cade. Um, but anyway, I was like, well, maybe Lily would like to have, hello, Bobby. Maybe Lily would like to have this planner. So I told her I need to kind of hang on to it so I can share it on Facebook Live. But I'm going to give Lily my planner um, when everything's all done. But anyway, in the meantime, if you are interested in getting the starter kit, you will get this planner. And I kind of flipped through. I think it's still my favorite part is that little like magnetic closure on there. I just think that is so awesome. Um, and then super cute on the inside. I won't go through all of it this time because I did last time, but there are just, you have, oh, look, she's already, <laughs> she's already put her fall class schedule. She told me that. She's like, mom, I'm going to start writing in it in a little bit. So this is good. Now I can see too. I'm always curious to know, um, you know, when they're in class so that I can get a hold of them in between times, right? So now I'm like, ooh, okay, but probably shouldn't be looking at that right now, right? Okay, so yeah, so you get the awesome planner, you get the making plans stamp set, awesome stamp set that kind of coordinates with the planner um, that you could use to kind of keep yourself organized, or there's just some fun imagery in there also, right? And then these three super cute notebooks you also get as well, and I flipped through those last time. So in addition to picking $125 in product, you get the notebooks, you get the stamp set, and you get the planner. Did I say this already? This planner has pages for all of this year, so July to December of 2022, and then all of next year too. So you get a year and a half worth of calendars and planner pages get yourself organized, um, keep track of everything in there. So, plus it's beautiful, look at that, it's just gorgeous. So, if you're interested in getting the starter kit, please let me know if you have any questions at all, if you're worried about anything, you know, if you're just wondering how does this work. Really, there's, it's kind of like there. there's no catch, there's no fine print, there's nothing to worry about. Buy the starter kit, pick $125 in stuff, get all of this for free as well, pay only $99 plus sales tax, that 10% or 11, the 11% shipping fee is waived on the starter kit also. And then you decide what happens from there. You can order as much or as little as you want. Um, let's see, you get 20% off of all of your orders after you buy the starter kit. So it's really like a win-win situation. Um, there is a $300 quarterly minimum. And what I figured and people were asking me about, so the first month or quarter that you start in, they don't count that in terms of the clock like ticking is kind of how I always put that. So you have 300, you have um, first, well, you need to put $300 in, I like, need to slow down, right? $300 in orders in a quarter. But, so we're starting in July, which is the third quarter. So they technically don't count the third quarter. So you have until the end of the fourth quarter. So the end of the year, 1231, December 31, to have $300 in orders in. And then essentially you renew your demonstrator status for another quarter. So then you've got July, August, and September. I'm sorry, um, January, February, March. If you put $300 in orders in in that first quarter, then you renew your demonstrator status again for the second quarter of 2023, so then April, May, and June. So, it, it, but you can you can do you know as much or as little as you want. If you don't put $300 in orders in by the end of December, you go into what they call pending status, and then they actually give you another month, so the first month of January, to get those $300 in orders in. If you don't, your demonstrator status, like your demo ID drops, you just can't get onto the Stampin' Up! website any longer, but that's it. Nothing else happens um, other than that. So nothing awful. I like to say that. Nothing awful happens, but um, I always like to kind of keep you updated on where you're at because I spend a lot more time on the Stampin' Up! website and like looking at our reports and things. So I'll shoot you a message and just let you know where you're at and then you decide what you want to do. There's never any pressure. Um, I just like to provide info so people can make informed decisions if you don't know kind of where you're at. So, but let me know if you have any questions. We have a great team. I'd love to for you to become a part of our team. So, um, and Bonnie, thank you 
for sharing. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. That's awesome. So Jamie's in our Inkspired Stampers group, and she just commented on here that she loves being a demonstrator, that it's so fun. Yes, yeah, so we do, like Jamie just sent in swaps for this month. Um, so we have our meeting next week on Tuesday, the third Tuesday of every month, our group meeting. And so um, I'll divvy up her swap cards with everybody else that swaps at our meeting and then mail them back to her. We have make and takes that we do at the meeting, and we can send those to you if you're long distance also we have a whole nother Facebook group with business challenges and creative challenges um, lots of other sharing and posting on there as well so love for you to be a part of it whether you're local or long distance I think there's something for everybody so um, okay let's see I totally went off on a tangent now I got to like check my notes and see what did I skip but I think we're doing all right let's go ahead and do our let's do our first drawing okay so for the 2021-23, the in color opal rounds. So these are like last year's in colors that came out in the beautiful kind of soft pastel -y shades. Even the evening evergreen looks a little bit more muted on there on those opal rounds. So we are going to draw right now if you shared the last Facebook Live video. Your name, I was trying to like stand on one foot and I'm falling over. <laughs> your name is in here. If you shared the class to go kit post, your name is in here also. Or if you signed up for my email list, your name is in here as well. And you guys know I always include the link to sign up for my email list. Hello, Miss Tracy, um, in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon. Okay. So here we go, one lucky winner. Wait, I've got a few of them. They're stuck together. I have to always like separate them out so everybody has that fair chance. Okay, so one lucky winner of the Opal Rounds, Miss Beth Martin, who is watching today. Congratulations, Beth. You are the proud winner of the Opal Rounds. So I will put those out on the porch for you. Stop by and pick them up anytime. I think you might have an order out there. So I'll pop those in your bag with your order. So congratulations, Miss Beth. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we will give away, love these, the beautiful, they're like candy, right? The solid faceted gems. Um, what colors are they? Maybe I'm gonna say Pacific Point, but I'm not, no, 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 not Pacific Point. That's gotta be one of our in colors. I'm gonna say um, Starry Sky, Petal Pink, Melon Mambo, Balmy Blue, and uh, Evening Evergreen. I think those are the colors in there. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. If you share this video, if you share the class to go kit post, and if you sign up for my email list, your name will be in the drawing to win those solid faceted gems. I had to make sure I was saying the right thing. So yes, we'll give those away on our next Facebook Live, okay? Um, let's see, all right, we already talked about the starter kit. Oh, the other thing that I wanna mention though too is, so <clears throat> I have gotten a couple extra of these Perfect pomegranate. You're welcome, Beth. <laughs> uh, the perfect pomegranate stamp set. So this is a stamp set. If you put a $300 order in, so say you're a demonstrator and you just want to fulfill um, your requirement for the quarter and get your full $300 in sales or orders in, put one big order in. And I will tell you, don't forget, the $300 is like catalog price. So you're putting your items in there full catalog price, and then they take the 20% discount off of that. So you're really not um, spending the full $300 in terms of product, okay? So keep that in mind. But if you were to do that during July or August, you would get one of these perfect pomegranate stamp sets. Or if you hold a private party or class and you have $300 in sales from the orders at your party or class, you would get the perfect pomegranate stamp set. So in the meantime, I've been putting orders in in July and August, and I'm accumulating a few of these perfect pomegranate stamp sets. So what I decided I'm gonna do is, if you get the starter kit, right? If you decide you wanna get the super cute planner and the notebooks and the stamp set, and your $125 in product, everybody that um, orders the starter kit through me, I'm gonna put your name in the drawing to win one of my perfect pomegranate stamp sets. So as many sets as I get, I will give those away, and as many people that buy the starter kit, you'll have a really good chance of winning one of these perfect pomegranate stamp sets. So keep that in mind, buy the starter kit, get that awesome deal, and you could win one of these perfect pomegranate stamp sets for me. I will do that drawing at the beginning of September, so you have the rest of July and all of August if you're thinking about the starter kit. Um, that deal ends on August 31st 
And then, like I said, as many of those stamp sets as I have, I will give them away and we'll do our drawing on that first Facebook Live in September. Okay. Um, let's see. Any other? What else? What else? What else? Um, I think, yeah, because I have so many things I want to show you when we flip the camera down. I'm looking around. So the only other thing, so I actually didn't have any online orders last week. So I was going to give away the in color glimmer paper, but I'm just going to have to put that back in my stash. Maybe we'll see that again sometime. Such a beautiful paper, right? In the meantime, though, I will, um, let's see, I got a text there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, I'm like, I want to swipe it away. Actually, I want to respond, but I can't right now, right? That wouldn't be a good idea to do that on Facebook Live. Um, okay, so I will let you guys know on our next Facebook Live, if you put an order in through me, you'll get the cards I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes. Your name will go, la, hello, Lisa, how are ya? Your name will go in the drawing to win this brand new, this is from our holiday catalog, the Soft Seedlings stamp set. And we We've got some great sentiments in here and I love the font too, that beautiful kind of cursive font. We've got thinking of you, so grateful for you, and then hello. And then some beautiful kind of leaf imagery. And I have to show you in the catalog because here is the stamp set in the catalog. And then what I love is, so for example, that leaf, you can see how it's kind of darker to lighter, but then they also use like a sponge dauber to add some different colors. So you've got like beautiful kind of colors and shading in there too. I just thought this was a beautiful stamp set. So that's what we will give away. If you put an online order in through me, you'll get your name in the drawing to win the Soft Seedling stamp set. You'll get the cards, the um, best butterfly cards I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes. If you bump your order up to $50, you can pick, so this is our July Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, 16 different projects in here. You can get this tutorial, or I promise I'll send you a full pack of the fun uh, flower resin shapes. You can pick either of those if you have over a $50 order. Plus, from Stampin' Up, you get a free celebration choice too. So um, I just wanna show you, cause it's all like full, color step by step i don't know if we can kind of flip through you kind of get the idea right um lots of oh these were 3d projects too i forgot about that so you've got lots of fun hello tracy if i didn't say that in maine yeah we've got some super cute 3d kind of treat um ideas in here um step by step how to put everything together free with your 50 dollars order along with the celebration freebie from stampin up okay um, so let's see, I think we are good. Let's see, yeah, we can flip the camera down. And I wanna show you guys all of this beautiful designer series paper. You're gonna absolutely love this. Oh, one other thing, quick reminder, um, super summer giveaway. Don't forget, you get your name in the drawing all summer long to win awesome prizes. We'll do that drawing in September as well. The one big thing is sharing right here to our Facebook Live video, or um, Facebook, our Facebook group, I should say. Any project that you make, post a picture of it, use that hashtag super summer giveaway and your name will go in the drawing in September. You also get entries for every event you attend, for every $50 you spend, if you bring a guest to class, um, if you join um, a club, if you buy the starter kit, if you decide you wanna do a private party or class, all those ways get your um, name in the drawing to win the um, lots of fun prizes, I guess I should say, in the super summer giveaway, okay? Okay, all right, now we are gonna flip the camera down because I have so many great things I wanna show you guys. Okay, we gotta move this stuff out of, I'm like, where do I put everything? <laughs> I haven't even started and craft or math has already happened. Okay, yep, we're good though. Okay, so turn your heads away, we are flying through the air. I forget how to even like undo this clip anymore. Okay. There we go. Okay, flip the camera down. Okay, we're looking good. So, all right, you guys, this is on our series paper because I'm so excited to share this with you. 
So here, I've got my little list right here too. Um, $52 gets you all, look at all of that designer series paper. All right, I'm gonna show you guys so much good stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna go, I've got it listed right here, so hopefully um, I can keep myself on track. But we first of all have, this is the black and white designs designer series paper. So you can see all kind of, that's one side. So it's kind of gray and black, although this one is, black and white, and then the other side is all black and white, but same pattern. So black and white and gray and white. Isn't that cool? So this is really fun, like bold, black and white designs, designer series paper. So you can see you get six by 12 pieces, a quarter of a pack of that one. And then we have the Bows of Holly designer series paper. So that's this one right here, some beautiful Holly. Uh, paper and then some interesting like swirly backgrounds on that side too more gorgeous paper next we have the festive foils designer series paper so I don't know if you can yeah you can kind of see that right in the light so three sheets of this and it's actually just it's white on the back so we've only got the one the front side right there of the festive foils next we have the gingham cottage designer series paper um, this has been a favorite i've seen lots of projects already made this one you actually get let me make sure here um 12 pieces so there's gosh can i spread them all out you guys see all of that there's one side of the gingham cottage and then there's the other side so lots of like plaids right so cool huh another fun bright bold pack of paper 12 sheets of that this is probably one of my favorites this is the lights aglow so i'm going to show you those can you guys there we go right front and back of those and then let's see we'll do the kind of greens this is probably like evening evergreen i'm thinking and then the front and back of those and then we've got a couple there we go some more can you guys see like all of that the kind of gold foil in there too and then one more and then we've got some black black and gold and then kind of evening evergreen and gold isn't that beautiful that's the lights aglow so that's six by six you get 12 pieces of that right now painted christmas this is a carryover one so this one may look familiar to people this was in last year's holiday catalog as well but it was a beautiful favorite gorgeous paper right okay next we have rustic harvest so this is kind of the fall print paper let's see we're gonna go through that one right there okay so you guys kind of see Two, three, yep, I'm like, is that six? Yep, that's six. Okay, so there's one side. So, and then the, black, the back is like black and white designs on that one too, so that's kind of cool, huh? Okay, then we have Santa Express. This one is super cute. Look at this paper, right? Can you guys see all of this? Right, so we've got this one. There we go, that's, I love that one too. How about that paper, huh? And then the little, um, the trees. Oh, this this is another. I really, I'm like, there are a few that I'm super excited to get. And then I love that, the ho-ho-ho pattern on that one too. So there's the back side of that one. So all of this paper, you guys, I'm like barely like halfway through, I'd say. We've got the Splendid Day. Okay, this is like beautiful more um kind of fall prints i guess in terms of imagery but beautiful like look at that foil right all six of those are foil and then here's some re really pretty muted colors on the back of them right splendid what was that one called splendid day then we've got the storybook gnomes so we've got this one right here those gnomes are super cute right i love those um trees also so we've got some kind of um, not so gnomey <laughs> or like mushroom cottage print, right? And then some that is. So isn't that so cute, right? More beautiful paper there. And then what do we have? The sweetest Christmas. So this is like the candy cane paper. There's that one right there. Can you guys even believe like, look at all of this paper unbelievable huh there, there's the back side of that one so kind of those traditional red and green colors hello lisa then what do we have um this the glimmer specialty paper okay so this is beautiful right so we've got three sheets of glimmer paper i'm gonna say like yeah maybe evening evergreen this is kind of a vanilla and a gold but look at that glimmer paper right glimmer 
right? And then let's see, we've got some metallic and shimmer specialty paper. These are funky, huh? How about these, right? Hello, hello, Lisa. And I think on the back side, yep. So some of the glimmer paper doesn't have anything on the back side of them. Then we have the red, the real red and white glimmer paper. And again, these are um, six by six pieces, nothing on the back of that one. Then here's another gorgeous one. So this is the snowflake specialty vellum. This paper actually comes in 12 by 12 but they only gave me one sheet of each so in order to make a quarter of a pack work for four people I had to cut it down to six by six but just know that that these prints like look at that that snowflake vellum here's some polka dotty vellum and then and this is like a kind of a flecked right it's like a white flecked vellum and then here's some um, like silver vellum, right? So there's that one. Again, this comes in 12 by 12. I just did six by six to get everybody a piece of each of those. Then this one, you can't even, like this one, you probably can't hear that, but this is the snowy white velvet sheet. So you got a six by 12 piece of that. Then, okay, this is all your free stuff right here. So this is this is actually a ton of paper for free. So this is the host designer series paper. You get 12 sheets. I'm trying to see to the end. Yes. Okay. So check out this, these fun, bold patterns in this designer series paper. So you've got some very traditional Christmassy and then some other that you could use. That would be great even for like Valentine's Day, right? And the blue kind of plaid there, right? Okay. So there's one side of this is all your free paper, right? And then look more fun, bright, bold patterns on the other side too. So that one is the Celebrate Everything Host Designer Series paper. You're also gonna get for free a little sample of the uh, pool party and soft sea phone. These are the note cards and envelopes from Celebration. Um, I'm trying to think of how many come in a pack, maybe like eight or 10 of each, but you're gonna get one of each of these and then these cute envelopes with the little printing on the back there too, okay? And then also for free, you get the silver and gold Celebration paper. So we've got those right there. There's nothing on the back of those. And then last but not least, you get the, this one is called the uh, Rings of Love Designer Series Paper. And let's see that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So those pretty prints too, right? And then there's the back side of those beautiful paper, right? So all of that Designer Series Paper is $52 dollars okay so if you're interested let me know i would love to get one of these designer series paper shares ordered and cut and sent out to you or i can just put it right on the porch if you are local to me 52 dollars for all of this paper you can comment right here um, on the facebook live if you're interested text email however you want to get a hold of me send me a facebook message um love to get you signed up for this designer series paper share 52 dollars if you need it shipped to you it's um i do the priority mail shipping because then they give me um tracking and insurance and that's an additional ten dollars to get it shipped to you i am ongoing getting these paper shares ordered so as soon as i have four people i get another paper share ordered um, i do have one extra one right now so if you're interested let me know i would love to get um I've got it all cut and ready to go for you, actually. Um, RSVP for the paper share is uh, my final um, RSVP will be on Monday, July 25th. So let me know if you're interested. 20, uh, gosh, I don't know. It's like 20 packs of paper, $52 for all of that designer series paper. Whew. Okay, one more thing to show you, and then we are going to get to do our stamping. So I don't know if you guys saw, this is going to kind of whet your appetite for um, the projects that we're gonna make, but my class to go this month. Hello, Susan, hello, Judy, thanks for joining me, guys. I love this. So the Best Butterfly Stamp Set and the Build a Butterfly Dies are what I used along with the Butterfly Kisses. This is like a couple packs of designer series paper, what I have left. Um, but this is the designer series paper that we used on these cards also. So I want to tell you guys about the different options available for this class to go. Um, we make four cards. You guys generally know that, right? We make four cards, two of each of them, so you end up with eight cards. I'll show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different options that are available. In the meantime, I need to grab a quick sip of water. Oops. Oh, no, it's dripping all over. <laughs> okay, as long as it's not on the table. Hmm. Okay, I guess I overfilled that a little bit. 
All right, I'm going to dry my hands on my dress here. <laughs> so I don't want to get it on the cards. Okay, so, and I did some fun folds too, right? So here's this first one, sending good vibes, right? This next one, all the love. And another little kind of fun fold on, and then fun fold on this one, you're my bestie. And then last one, another all the love. And then this one flips up like that. And you can see the beautiful detail that those dies create, right? Okay, so those four cards are what you make in this class to go. Option number one includes the best butterfly stamp set and the build a butterfly dies. It also includes a full pack of the Butterfly Kisses designer series paper, a full package of the in color baker's twine, and a full package of the fun flower resin shapes. These you actually get for free, the fun flower resin shapes, you get those for free in option number one okay you'll get a full pack i promise not my partially used pack right um oh plus the pdf tutorial that tells you step by step how to put everything together i'm glad you like these cards philomena thank you i'm super excited about them too so option number one is $99 because, for example, this bundle alone is $47.50 plus tax and shipping. So it's kind of maybe a little bit more expensive bundle, but obviously super cute. You're going to love the stamping and the die cutting, and you'll have a bunch of twine and paper left over after you make your projects too. So that's option number one. Option number two is if you already have the Best Butterfly stamp set and the dies, make sure you have these because you have to do your own stamping and die cutting to make your project. So option number two includes the twine, the fun flower resin shapes, and the designer series paper full pack of that, plus um, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards and the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $52. Uh, let's see, option number one and option number two, if you need them shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. Option number three is for a uh, PDF tutorial. You can get that for $15 if you just want to do everything on your own. My Inkspired Stampers team, my downline, actually gets those PDF tutorials for free every single month. And then option number four is also for my downline. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards for just $12. So another couple great reasons to buy the starter kit through me. You can get make and takes, you can get PDF tutorials for free, uh, lots of good stuff going going on. Okay. All right. So let me know if you're interested in these little things. Every time I pick it up, I flick one off and I'm like, oh, I don't want to lose them. Okay. There, I think I, I saved that one. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get one of these class to go kits shipped out to you. You're going to love the, just the paper, the fun, bright colors. So awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, what else was I going to tell you? No, I guess that's it. Okay. All right. Let's do our stamping, ladies. Okay, let me get my, need my grid paper. Whoops. Oh, those are all the old ones. I was like, wait a minute, those aren't the right host codes. I already have it pulled out. So I'm not confusing myself. Okay, here we go. <laughs> really, um, I am ready to do this. Okay, so here's my grid paper. All right, okay, let's make sure. Teresa, hello. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we've got this one and that one. All right, I think I've got everything I need here, right? Let me move this stuff out of the way, too. Okay, so first card, ladies. We've got this fun little sending good vibes card with, um, I love just all the detail on the butterflies, right? And, oh, I did do a little bit more because I wanted to show you guys the stamping and die cutting that you can do with the stamp set as well. So let's get things out here to kind of show you what we got going. Let's see, we'll put that and that and that. All right, so these colors, just I, this whole color combination in this um, designer series paper is beautiful. Okay, so we are gonna start, this is a parakeet party card base, okay, or piece of cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the five or 11 inch side, we cut it, or <laughs> along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's, the tall card right there, right? Then we have this piece of designer series paper, super duper cute, right? That measures two and a half by five and a quarter. That's gonna go right along there. 
And then we've got a piece of basic white cardstock that goes on the inside. My standard measurement, my four by five and a quarter for the inside of my card, okay? And then I've got basically some scrap pieces of vellum, uh, basic white and fresh freesia to do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? So we will just scoot these guys out of the way, right? We're gonna scoot that right there. So let's do our stamping, okay? So on this strip right here, this is basically just a one inch wide strip. So I'm gonna stamp that sending good vibes right there. Okay, good, that worked out nicely. Okay, then we are going to stamp our butterfly for the inside of the card, the nice easy tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. We're gonna do one more right there. Okay, and then is that it, I think, because there's the inside of our butterfly, right? So we need to do die cutting there. Okay, I think we are good. <laughs> and I'm realizing, I think maybe I was using that, those dies on something else. I'm gonna have to grab that. But we've got, this is my favorite. This is it like the um, decorative circle punch. I've used this like pretty much every week, I think that we've done Facebook Live. So if you don't have that punch yet, you really need that punch. Um, I will include the um, names, item codes, everything that you need to order any of these products to make these projects. They'll be on my blog at gatheringinkspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so what I'm saying is this little um, white, I'm sorry, the vellum stitched circle, I need to go grab those dies because I used them on another project last night and I forgot to put them back in my bin here. So one sec, I'm going to grab those. I will see you right back. Okay, that makes it easier. Another set of dies that I use all the time, the Stylish Shapes dies, okay? So they've got the stitching on the circles, the squares, and the banners. And we just need this little baby right here. Yeah, that's the size we need. Okay, all righty. So let's do our die cutting here. So the vellum piece gets that one. Then we've got those and we've got that, right? Okay, so where are my dies now? Oh, they're hiding underneath. Okay. So let me show you. We're gonna use this one with all of the detail for the butterfly. And then we're gonna cut these little babies, and actually that goes on the other one, right? So let's see if I give myself enough room. So these need to be lined up with my stamping, right? This one and this one, and then there's that one there. Okay, the little body of the butterfly. Oops, and that moved too, didn't it, right? Okay. There, I think we're good. Okay, we'll get all these pieces die cut. Sorry if there's a little wiggle on there. Okay. All right, so let me show you guys. We've got, can you kind of see the stitching on the vellum? Maybe, 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 right? Then we've got these little pieces right here. So that's gonna make a butterfly, right? Let me lift those up so you can kind of see those. And there's the little body, so I didn't stamp him, but we'll put him together, right? And then this one that has all of the detail. Oops. Let's see how we did here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. I probably should have run that back and forth. We'll get those pieces out, right? Yeah, I probably should have run it back and forth. So just the top. Just these come out. The bottom just kind of, um, it's almost like it embosses it a little bit there too. That one right there. Can we see? So I forgot my paper piercing tool. I'm gonna grab my um, paper snips to grab those two little bits. That one and that one. There we go, okay. 
So isn't that cool? So you see kind of all the stitching and detail on there too. Just so much good detail on that die. Okay. All right. Now let's see to put things together. We have, I want to grab this and this. Okay. So let's see, we're going to put some adhesive, or actually we're going to put, um, let's do the inside. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to do this little inside butterfly first. So I think the easiest way is to take the body and just get your adhesive ready. There we go, right? So this is the top, okay? So I just put adhesive on the back of the body of the butterfly, and then I'm going to add him. And I'm using my little silicone mat so that it doesn't really stick to my work paper and then we'll put that one on the bottom so there see how kind of cute simple easy that little butterfly guy is right and then on the inside we have where are my dimensionals okay I need just a little mm, we're gonna just do a little kind of skinny dimensional right along there okay and then we're gonna put that right on there. And then I need another skinny one because I don't want it to show, um, you know, the vellum. So maybe I'll put one there and I'll put one there. So wherever you're not gonna be able to see those dimensionals, that's where I wanna put that. And then where is that punch right here? Okay, so we're kind of building up our little guy here, okay? And then we're gonna put this kind of on an angle right about there like that, okay? So how's that for cute, huh? <laughs> I know, Lisa, the whole, these, just everything about this suite is so cute. Okay, here we go. Now, let's see. I think we'll just kind of scoot those right there. Are we still in view? I get super like, <laughs> I just get so into what I'm doing that I forget to check to see whether you guys can see what I'm doing or not. Okay, so this piece is going to go on the inside. Okay, try not to get ink on anything, right? Okay, so there's that. Then we're going to add our little butterfly. And I kind of just put it through the middle there. So if I want to pop him up a little bit, I can. Obviously, when he's in, in the card, right, or in the envelope, it won't be popped up. But <laughs> isn't that cute that little butterfly there right okay so now we're going to add our designer series paper to the outside of the card okay we have that one there that one there okay next we're going to use our fresh freesia ribbon we're going to tie a pretty bow around the top so we're just going to kind of loop that underneath that's why i made this a tall card like this so that it would be easy i think i need a little bit more ribbon there we go right yes philomena i know the colors are beautiful aren't they so they're all just the coordinating colors of the designer series paper so that's one of the easiest kind of tricks that you can use i guess in terms of um, you know, if you want to make a project yourself, um, I love to look at, look at the catalog, the color combinations that jump out to you, um, usually are in the designer series paper, um, check and see what colors those are, and you can make your project using those colors. So for example, in my Butterfly Kisses designer series paper, they used Calypso Coral, I don't know if you can see that, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Parakeet Party, and Starry Sky. So that's why we've got our Parakeet Party and our Fresh Freesia ribbon there, right? Okay. This Sometimes you have to kind of play with the bow a little bit, right? Okay, it like curls up, but you get the idea, okay? Then we are going to add some adhesive behind this little guy we're gonna just pop him maybe right about there there we go and then we have our sentiment so you can use a punch or you can just actually that i might need to trim off just a little bit more we're gonna just flag the end so you just cut up through the center and then from each of the corners you cut in at an angle 
And there we go, right? Okay, and then we're gonna add some adhesive on our sentiment. We've got our sending good vibes. And then of course we have to add a couple of our little fun flower resin shapes. So we're gonna put one fresh freesia there and put another little flower right there. And there we go. Isn't that cute? The sending good vibes with that fun little butterfly on the inside, right? So there we go, card number one, super cute, right? Like Philomena said, the colors, love the colors. They're just beautiful together, right? Okay, so there's our first project. Uh, let's see, we're gonna clean these things off real quick just so we don't get ink on anything. Love my chamois if you don't have a chamois yet. I don't know how you've survived if you don't have a chamois, but you need a chamois if you don't have one yet. <laughs> One of my favorite tools. Okay, all right. Second project. All right, I've got everything like all over the place. Okay, so another fun, like fun bright colors, right? This fun little sentiment too. So glad you exist, right? And then on the inside, the stamping. Okay, so this is what I wanted you guys to see. The, um, just the fun, bright, bold colors. And yes, it definitely, thank you, Beth. They do make you smile, don't they? I agree. Okay, so let me tell you about this one. Get my, all my stuff out. Okay, here we go. All right, so for this guy, we are gonna start with Starry Sky. Again, this is another one of the colors in the designer series paper. So we have our Starry Sky card base, piece of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like that one too, Philomena. Designer series paper, butterfly kisses, another fun, again, parakeet party and starry sky. This piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, and that's going to go right there. And then same size on the inside of the card. This one also measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have another piece of starry sky cardstock that measures... This one is three and one quarter by four and a half. And then our designer series paper, super duper cute, isn't it, right? And then there's the backside with kind of a more muted pattern. This one, DSP measures three, excuse me, three by four and a quarter. And again, all of these measurements will be on my blog this afternoon. Then I just have um, a little strip for the inside here for the body for the butterfly in Parakeet Party, and then we're gonna stamp our sentiment, so glad you exist. And then I happen to have, this is a strip, I must have been going to use it for something and I didn't, but this is the white frayed ribbon, right? So we're gonna just use that little strip right there. Okay, so I think, let's see. We don't really, oh, we only have a teeny tiny bit of die cutting. Patty, hello, welcome, thank you for joining us. I'm looking at this, I'm like, so the only thing we need to die cut is that little butterfly body. So let's do that and then we can do our stamping and so on. Okay, all right, well that will be easy. All right, I'm just gonna scoot all of that right out of the way for a sec. Okay, yeah, so this one is more about the stamping. I wanted you guys just to get the idea of, um, you know, you can stamp, you can die cut, you can do one or the other, you can do both together. If your if your die, if your metallic plate um, is cooperative, that's helpful too, right? Okay, so we're just gonna cut that little butterfly body, okay? So that's all we need for that one, right? Not this is the bigger body, I guess I should say, not the little one, but the big one, okay? All right, scooting this out of the way. Okay, bring everything back in here so we can see what we've got going here. Okay, so here's our card, right? We're going to use the, let's do this, the Starry Sky ink for our So Glad You Exist. Oops, excuse me, I bumped everything there. Sorry about that. Okay, the nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are going to try to make sure it's centered nicely. Press straight down. I'm going to just rub across there, get all the ink off. All right, that looks good. I'm happy with that. And then for the inside of the card, we're going to grab our basic white piece. We're going to stamp. <laughs> Let's see, we're going to do 
the top of the butterfly first. I'm trying to just make sure I leave enough room <laughs> for the bottom too. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the top. Look at those, isn't that so, like it does, it just makes you smile. Those fun um, polka dot print the polka dot pattern on our butterfly. And then that was Calypso Coral, if I didn't say that, because of course there's Calypso Coral in my designer series paper. And then I'm gonna use my Starry Sky and I'm gonna stamp that right over there. More polka dots in Starry Sky. Ink that matches our Starry Sky cardstock and designer series paper. We are gonna just add the little butterfly body. Right there, again, I like to use my little silicone mat. There we go. Isn't that so cute? So much fun, right? Okay, we are gonna just trim down our sentiment. Okay, I'm gonna just trim that off a little bit and we're all good there. I think we are ready to put things together. So let's just put, oops, excuse me, that adhesive <laughs> works really well. It grabbed onto the ribbon on my paper snips and <laughs> Brought them on over. I wasn't, I don't think I needed those quite yet though. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece to the inside. Wouldn't you just smile, right? You would, just opening that card up, it would just make you smile to see that. Okay, now we're gonna add our designer series paper to the front of the card. Okay, we're gonna add this designer series paper to our Starry Sky piece. Oops, okay, and we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of this piece. I have adhesive somewhere, I can feel it. There we go, okay. All right, so we're gonna add our dimensionals right here, okay. All right, we're just gonna peel these off the back. And ooh, I'm glad I realized, actually we need to do ribbon first. So we are going to do that. I'm gonna kind of, mm, let's actually put this piece on here also. Okay, so because I wanna kind of line up this goes right there, okay. So then without letting this touch, I shouldn't have peeled those off yet. I got too excited. It'll be all right though. Okay, so I'm gonna put that, looks good right about there, okay. So I'm gonna just run my adhesive. I'm gonna put that there and there. And I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna just cut that off right about there. Now I can add this piece. So glad you exist. <laughs> Such a quirky sentiment. I don't know why it just, it does. It makes me laugh, it makes me smile. And then, oh, the In Color Baker's Twine. I've almost used all of my sweet sorbet, it looks like, on this package. But love this Baker's Twine, too. We're gonna use Starry Sky on this one, though, because that coordinates with our cardstock color, the base of our card. Okay, I should probably put my glasses on. <laughs> Let me just do that, I'm gonna start over here. You know, this little twine, it's easier when you have your glasses on to see what you're doing there. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna snip that off. We are gonna grab a glue dot, but we don't have one. So instead, I'm gonna just use a little bit of adhesive. And we're gonna pop that right on there. And there we go, there is our second card, right? So glad you exist with that fun butterfly on the inside there also. So, all right, clean my table off here, right? I forgot to give you guys the host code earlier, but we'll share that with you right now. So, as always, you guys know the drill on this. Hopefully, if not, if you're new to Facebook Live, this is how it works around here. We will give you both of these projects, if you order online through me, spend at least $30 using this host code, the 93FNG2KT, 
right? You will get your name in the drawing to win the Soft Seedling stamp set. You definitely will get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. If you bump your order up to over $50 right now, you're gonna get a free item from Stampin' Up!, a free celebration item. And then you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team for July, the 3D projects. You can get that PDF tutorial for free, or you can get the free embellishment, which are the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you, Philomena. I always appreciate you being here. Everyone, I appreciate everyone being on Facebook Live with me. I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great, um, yeah, July, right? We're halfway through July. All right, thanks everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. Thanks so much, Bonnie. I know, I agree. It's all about the paper, the colors, uh, the stamp set, the dies, the paper, the paper, the paper is my favorite. All right, bye everybody. Thank you.